Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so welcome and welcome back everyone. This month, at least here in the United States, we're celebrating Father's Day, and so we're getting our messages this week from the Father Energy. So we're going to be using the Toth Tarot, the Energy Oracle, the Loving Words from Jesus, and the Whispers of Sweet, Sweet Lord Ganesha. Okay, so let's get these boxes out of here and let's go. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. A big thank you to all my subscribers. You can't have a channel without subscribers. Um, just so you know, I'm only on three platforms of social media, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. All my links are in the description box below. I do sell personal readings. If you would like one, you can contact me by messenger or email me. Uh, at my email in the description box. Also, if you would like to give me a tip, I welcome those very much, and I'm a very appreciative person. My pay PayPal is in that description box, so thank you so much. What's going on from a Sagittarius here? So, okay, Eight of Wands, some sort of swiftness going on. It can mean communication as well. It can mean arrows of love coming in really quick. But there's a little bit of imbalance going on. Um, Eight of Cups, because you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed. You might be having to walk away. Uh, that's two eighths so far, guys. So, um, oh my God, that's three. In this deck, the, the eight is adjustment. So, you guys, you just got eight, eight, eight. Wow. Whoa, whoa, calm down there. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's some imbalance going on here, though. This is your own card, Sagittarius. This is the, uh, in this deck, it's called art, but in other decks, this is called temperance. This is when you um, are balanced with your masculine and feminine energies. However, yours aren't right now. You're a little bit off balance here. Um, maybe you're speaking too much. See, this is also your card as well, Sagittarius. So, um, you may have moved a little bit too fast. You may have spoke too soon. You may have said too much, but there is a little bit of imbalance going on here. Um, you may have said the wrong things because look at what you've got here. You've got, you know, the imbalance. Okay. Balance is represented by the temperance card and adjustment. Uh, which is also called justice. And you have both of these cards in the reverse. So no wonder you're about ready to give up and walk away. You, you know, there's a lot of imbalance going on here. So um, let's see what we can, what, what goes under adjustment? Oh, that's a whole chunk of them. Yeah, you're off balance. You're, you didn't get this new beginning. This ace, ace of pentacles. These are always gifts from the universe, the aces. Okay, these are always new beginnings. This hasn't come in yet. This could also be bad news about money. There could have been, um, there could have been a Libra that you were involved with and you didn't get this new beginning, this new life with them. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah. And you're going to be feel you're going to be feeling emotionally overwhelmed and and a bit like leaving when this, this tower falls. Okay, there's a um, Mars Aries influence on this tower. So something's going to change and you're going to be feeling pretty overwhelmed here, okay? However, at the bottom of the deck here, we've got the 10 of cups, okay? This has to do 
um, this has all to do with um, a, a happy home. This could have been, you know, a home that you lived with, with soulmates or a soulmate. I, you know, I don't really have anything in here that that's talking about like a one-on-one -on -one partnership in love or anything. You know what I mean? Like a relationship. So um, this is all about your joy. But uh, the Ten of Cups is about a happy home. Um, all the joy you can possibly feel, basically, you know, it's, um, let's see what else we can get here. Maybe that's what you've been striving for, a happy home. You know, you got eight cups right here, and you're about ready to leave them all behind. When you're only two cups away. I hope I'm not shouting in your ear, uh, guys. I was told that it's kind of hard to hear me sometimes when I'm trying to speak up. All right, Jesus, what's going on for Sagittarius? Let your heart, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Mm -hmm. See, this is your heart being troubled because cups are emotion. Cups are your heart. And this is all about your heart over here. This is about love. This is about love overflowing. All right. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The faith in yourself, faith in spirit, faith in Jesus. Whichever, okay? So let your heart not be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Judge not that you be not judged. So, yeah, maybe what you said, you may have said something about someone. And, you know, maybe, you know, that wasn't correct. Maybe what you said was... You know, when you say things about people that that's your opinion, but it's like not true. And then you find out later on, that's not, you know, that's. Well, anyway, seek, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. So the, I'm feeling like this card is saying, just focus on yourself, Sagittarius. We, you know, if you did say something that you shouldn't have, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, we're all human. Um, you know, don't, don't judge yourself either, right? That, that's a big part of balancing out your masculine and feminine energies is, is forgiving yourself. Okay. If you can forgive yourself, others can forgive you. Uh, if you can forgive yourself, it, it, you just, you're better off. Okay, if you forgive others, whether they forgive you or not, you're better off. It, the, all the forgiveness is in you. It, it doesn't matter if other people forgive you. Um, love one another as I have loved you. Okay, so yeah, this has to do with love, but I really, I just don't know if this is a, uh, like a love relationship. I, I think this may have something to do with friends or possibly coworkers. Because of this Ace of Pentacles, which is earthy, which it's money. It could even have been a, a new home. But a tower is about to fall, okay? And it's going to put you um, in a state of emotional overwhelm. So Jesus wants you to know, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid. Spirit is with you, okay? You know, when we're off balance, we, we do eventually balance out. You know, I mean, if, if, you, if you care enough to work at it, sometimes people don't. The garden and the gate. You know, I haven't, um, this is a new deck, and because they're so small, they don't come with books. 
So I'm not sure what this talks about in its little book, but what I'm feeling here is that there's, there's somewhere you want to go. You may want to go through this gate, but if you look how she, she is, she's a little, you know, like maybe this gate makes her feel safe inside of her garden, whereas out there you don't feel so safe. However, this is Sagittarius I'm talking to. You guys are the free spirits. You don't have a whole lot of fear of going out into the world. But there's this, the garden and the gate is just like, there's, I feel like there's just one, you're one step away. Okay, that's what I feel like. It's like you, you're one step away from taking a step through a, a gate and everything is going to be, you know, better than you thought. Because look, you've got victory. This is your first card here, right? Victory, something good is coming in with patience. You know, maybe you were impatient with someone or you're not patient right now because this is also all about patience. When it's right side up, that is patience, okay? And, uh, oh, door to romance. Are you freaking kidding me? That's what it is. The garden and the gate. All right, so however you look at going through this door, yeah, it might be a little bit scary, but this is the door that's going to lead you to romance. I knew, like I was trying to say, like when you walk through this gate, something good is going to be there. 33, that's a very important number in when it comes to Jesus, okay? Angel of balance, this is, okay, this to me is... Uh, this deck's version of temperance, of this art card. This is you. So it's kind of like you came out twice. Except you came out in the reverse at first, but now, nearing the end of this reading, you're in balance. And that's what that victory is. That's what the victory is. You're going to be back in balance, and you're going to have romance. So there. You know, sometimes romance isn't always, you know, like um, a partnership. Sometimes people can romanticize things. Sometimes a romance, romanticizing something means kind of like beautifying it, okay? Um, making it pro poetic. So whether or not this is a love relationship, this door to romance is like a door to this happy home, right? I mean, whether or not it's a love relationship, you know, romance is uh, like a feeling of poetry, like being out in a garden, okay? So something really good is coming for you here. Now, this tower looks pretty flippin' scary, and it's going to feel flippin' scary here, but apparently there's nothing to be afraid of. Let's see what sweet Lord Ganesha can tell you, and we'll close out your reading. Thank you so much. Holy moly. All right. Acceptance. Okay, there's something that you need to accept, and it has, uh, it's a big part of this, or I wouldn't have been on the bottom of the deck of the Ganesha deck, okay? So drive, okay? Um, what is going to drive you, okay? What what makes you go? But this is also feeling very much like the chariot card, which is moving forward, not moving back, rolling over anything that gets in your way. Um, perfect, now the only way that the charioteer can drive his chariot is when his masculine and feminine energies are in balance. That's what this is all about. That's what you're all about, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what else we got here. 
promise of the future. Yeah, I mean, the garden and the gate, guys. This is what I'm telling you about generosity. There's going to be um, somebody may be very generous with you. If you require forgiveness, they may forgive you right off the bat. Um, if you require help with money because you weren't able to get this started somehow, you are going to experience generosity from someone. Also, this could have been you. You could you could also be um, you could have been very generous in the past or you may about to be very generous because of belonging. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been trying. Thank you so much, Ganesha. This happy house, you might have a romance coming in. Some of you, yes, this could be a romance. However, I just don't see like the, the two people that we normally get when it comes to that. So that's why I'm talking about how romance makes everything kind of like art, right? Like you're you know, like poetry, right? So this is, this represents your soul family as well. So maybe you were looking for this beautiful life with your soul family, with a group of people that you felt that you could belong to. This could be anything from, um, you know what, this is probably a new job, you guys. You probably need a, a new job and you want to go somewhere where you feel triumphant, that something that you do feel drive, something where you want to get up in, the, in uh, the morning and, you know, jump out of bed and go do your job and, and really just have that inspiration. So, uh, you know what, this, this started out kind of looking a little bit, mm, you know, you might be going through something right now, but it's all going to work out. Every, you're going to have this victory it's going to be a beautiful door that you walk through, Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you at this time. See you next time.